And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Hi, Kevin Selly in the Weather Center. Interesting forecast coming up for the next couple of days. We've got some cold air in place. We've got the chance, actually next week, maybe three chances for some snowflakes. In the meantime, Friday, fairly quiet day, variably cloudy skies, more clouds early in the day and noticeably cooler thanks to that cold front that came through early in the day on Thursday. We're looking for a high temperature of only 38. North to northeast winds will blow about 10 to 20 miles per hour at times, and that means it's going to feel even colder. Into the first part of the upcoming week, the next weather maker is a storm system that comes by on Monday and brings a chance for a wintry mix of precipitation types. We're going to talk more about that. Precipitation certainty is pretty good. We're pretty confident it will precipitate in some form or another. The precipitation type is a little bit in question, uh, in question at this point in time. The track of the storm is going to be what's important for uh, the type of precipitation here, whether we get rain or snow or a mix. Here's the situation. Low pressure center, that big L there, the further south that is, the more likely we get snow because we're further behind the cold front. So we're in the cold air from the surface all the way up through the higher levels of the atmosphere. So plenty of cold air means likely snow. But if that low pressure area takes a little more northerly track, then we get kind of sloppy on the forecast there because the front doesn't come all the way through. We don't get all the cold air. We've got the green arrows indicating moisture coming in. We've got the blue arrows indicating cold air coming in. So when you get that mix in there through the central portion of the panhandle, it makes the precipitation type forecast a little bit tougher. Speaking of cold fronts, this was really cool on Thursday morning. About the eastern third of the panhandle got to see a roll cloud. And special thanks to Justin Federoff from Pampa for sending in these really neat pictures. This is right along the cold front. The colder air is cutting under since it's heavier, cutting under the warmer air with some moisture and lifting it, cooling it, condensing it into cloud formation here. And then on the back side of it, that colder air is sinking, so the clouds dissipate pretty quickly, and it kind of rolls forward like a big long snake across the eastern portions of the region. It was really neat on the satellite. I'm envious of Justin getting to see it. <laughs> so forecast model goes uh, increasing clouds through the day, the first part of the day for Friday, and then we'll see some clearing with some sunshine to head us into a pretty nice weekend, actually, with a fair amount of sunshine. So variably cloudy skies on Friday, noticeably cooler, 38 for the high. It won't feel that warm with a north to northeast wind blowing at 10 to 20 miles per hour through the weekend. Fair amount of sunshine, temperatures warm back up. It's still below average for this time of year, which is mid 60s. We've got 52 Saturday, 58 on Sunday. Monday, there's that chance with that storm system, depending on the track, for some wintry or mixed precipitation. Temperature going back down, 38 degrees for the high there. We're in between storm systems on Tuesday. There's another chance for some wintry precipitation on Wednesday. Then we're sort of in between again on Thursday and Friday. And the following weekend on Saturday, it looks like at this point, or another chance for some snow.